Hey, it's KP Sports Chase. So James Harden just played his first game of the 2016-17 NBA regular season. And, you know, they lost to the Lakers. But what I saw is promising. They're putting together a team with a new undisputed leader in James Harden. And he switched over to point guard. So he's got a new role. And what's interesting about it is that he, if you didn't check him out in the preseason, he looked hungry. He looked like, um, you know, young James Harden, even more so, because he was leaping for rebounds, um, kicking it out without landing, um, passing the ball to the corner and hustling back on defense early, on defense early. Like, this is a big deal for, you know, Leaps and bounds from last year. I mean, if you watch last year, I, I can't stop talking about the video that James Harden had. It was a montage of all his um, defensive efforts, but it was just like a bunch of whackness. Uh, him standing around watching people go by. And I no doubt believe it has everything to do with his relationship with Dwight Howard at that time. Now that he's not here, I feel like he can be himself. The thing is, is that coach wants him to average double the assist he had last year. How many did he have last year? Seven or eight. So that means he wants him to have average at least 14 assists a game. Now that's a lot. Nobody ever has assist, has had um, 14 or 16 assists on average in a season. But that's what Mike D'Antoni wants James Harden to do. Now, he's up for the challenge, apparently. He likes to pass. He likes the, the joy he describes it as he like he enjoys the joy that that his teammates get by getting a pass from him and scoring and make you know makes the player happy so he's happy. So I've noticed that the energy is already different this season. Kind of like in how I've noticed the energy with the Spurs is different this season. Not not bad different. It's actually good different, like better different in in like in like the exciting to watch fun uh, fun style of watching and playing type of change. And the Rockets, I feel there's been a cloud that's been lifted and shifted over to Atlanta. And now that James Harden is, like I said, the unquestioned leader, um, it's easier for him to do what he wants to do to be a leader while still take direction from coach and make it his own. So, I'm excited to see what happens this season with the Rockets. Actually, just like the Spurs, which I have loathed in the last 10 to 15 years. I'm sorry, but Tim Duncan is flat out boring, like to no end. So I want to hear what you have to say about it. I think James, James Harden's going to have a good year this year. I think he can hit the 14 assists if he's, if he's really enjoying himself and is having a season like you know, Golden State last year had a fun season. You could tell they were having fun. Despite the issues that they were having behind closed doors, they were having fun. And you could see it. Everybody could see it. And I could see Houston having that type of this year this season, given the fact that James Harden wants to play. And, he wants, and he's good. And he's better than good. So, like, I'm ready. And, you know, last point I'll make is that Dwight Howard, he has a reputation for quitting when he doesn't want to play anymore. And 